what up what up it's garage gym homie and today i'm reviewing chaos and pain cannibal riot Ooh, is it worth it before i get into this here please click the subscribe button i got content coming out every day for you now from supplement reviews health food reviews gizmos gadgets goodies all sorts of good finds for you fine folks out there so click subscribe and let's get into this what up youtube what up homies we out here training banging entertaining supplement slanging you know what we're doing man let's get down to business quit monkeying around man you know chaos and pain they probably got the hardest hitting freaking fat burner on the market that red sky right there uh i've reviewed their cannibal uh inferno it's a very aggressive name they got there a very aggressive name and this cannibal riot another very uh it's a very uh, aggressive theme they got going here but we like that man we like that it, they're actually a solid company man and uh i'm in i'm in touch with them and uh, i really like what they're doing because you can go on their site and they have like so many freaking supplements it's unbelievable man i'm gonna have to try all these they got that hypnose hitter they got just a, a slew, a plethora for you fancy college folk, man. A plethora of different gadgets, goodies, gizmos for you, man. So this is their Cannibal Riot. They have uh, a couple pre-workouts on there. They got their Cannibal Ferox, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and their Cannibal Riot. And their Ferox has like much higher caffeine content, like 450. Then you got the, the Alpha Yo in here. We're gonna talk about the facts here. I, I like what they're doing here. They're not, they're, they're talking facts over here, man. Chaos and pain is over here talking facts, man. So this isn't Fox News, CNN, MSNBC, or whatever the heck you're watching at home. It's straight up fitness talk with Garage Gym, homie. And here we talk facts. Why are they talking facts? They're not giving us that one scoop, two scoop, half scoop, redfish, bluefish, Dr. Seuss, mumbo jumbo, man. They're telling us, you take one freaking scoop, it's 10.4 grams, you get 30 servings in container, end of freaking story, man. There's no monkeying around, you don't gotta do too much thinking. One scoop, that's what they're giving us, no options. We don't like options, man. Too mo our head's too noisy, man. We gotta live from the heart, not the head. And when you gotta do all them dang thinking, man, I mean, I'm a mathematician, but too much dang thinking, man. So I look at the label. It's a simple label. This is what they're giving us. Beta alanine, 3.2 grams. It's clinically dosed for you building eyes out there, you science worshipers. L-citrulline, 2 grams. That's for the pumps. That's a low dose there of L-citrulline. Um, vascularity, that gorilla look. You know, 2 grams is, is pretty low. Um, N-acetyl-tyrosine, 500 milligrams. Caffeine anhydrous, 350 milligrams. So we're going to decide, is this a like a high stim pre-workout is this like a daily pre-workout is this a medium we're going to talk about it here man we're going to have a discussion the two of us man you and me you and me mano y mano we're going to talk about this here we're going to come to a conclusion here a consensus as you might say vaso 6 green tea extract 300 milligrams so there's a lot of health benefits to vaso 6 that's a trademark name for this special green tea extract there's actually uh, it's good for pumps. I've taken Vaso 6 on its own, and I found it to be a very effective ingredient. I think NCN sub sent it over. Glucuronola Ketone, 200 milligrams, and then uh, isopropyl and sinopharin, 20 milligrams. So a little dose of sinopharin in there. That's a stim. That's going to mix well with the caffeine. So it's a simple label. They're giving us the beta. They're giving us uh, some pumps in here, and um, they're giving us some stims in here. What more could a man ask for? You know what I'm, what more could you ask for, man? For me, I'm a simple man. I'm a simple, I don't need much to train, man. I used to take a 200 milligram caffeine pill and that was my high stim Saturday. That was actually, that would like blow my mind off. So, I, you know, we see all these insane pre-workouts and our expectations keep getting, it's like watching skateboarding, man. When I was a kid and I saw skateboarders I thought they were doing the craziest things, man, in the world. Now I see skateboarders, it's so much more extreme. So it's just like, it just gets more and more extreme. But we got to take it back down to basics here, man. That's what I do at my channel. Take it back down. It's all about the training, man. 
It's not about the craziness of the label. It's about training here, man. So anyway, so here's the deal, man. So I see this. I don't know what to expect. So I'm going to tell you my experience with this hitter right here. I'm going to tell you my experience with this. So my experience was I took the hitter. This was a blueberry acai flavor. Very light and mild. You guys like originality, you flavor freaks, Mr. Flavor Testers? You're winning with this one, and you get 30 servings in here. So you're killing it. Cannibal, one thing about uh, chaos and pain, I don't even really like to bring up money, but they definitely are known to have incredible deals on their site. And I'm going to link below um, a coupon code that I got that they, they gave to me uh, to give to my viewers in case you like the review. I might tell you this thing is trash, and it's no good and you might say yeah i don't want it and uh i might tell you it's good and it's worth it and and you might use the coupon code so either way they got a coupon code in case you want it um so this is my my experience with it i took the hitter the beta freaking slapped me in the face this was see i've taken beta like what did I review recently where they had 3.5 grams of beta? I reviewed that uh, that hitter from uh, Peak Performance Lab, that nuclear pre, which was a good pre-workout. The freaking beta, 3.5 grams, didn't even feel it. And I said that in the review, gave it to you straight. One thing you're not going to do, you're not going to come on this channel and say, Garage Gym Homie didn't give you two straight. 3.2 of beta in here. Bro, I was itchy, tingle. I was revved up, ready to freaking go. Gave me a good sense of urgency. So I was sitting there, and I'm pumping iron, I'm pumping iron. I'm just kind of like, where's the energy, man? Where's the energy? I had an interesting experience with this. I was like, this is doing nothing for me, man. Is this like a daily driver? It took 30 minutes, man. All of a sudden, I finished my set and it activated and it came in really freaking nicely this thing hit with a nice shebang they in in, in jail when i was in la county jail man when you screwed up they put you in the corner and some of the white boys would do what's called a boobopping they boobop you they put two or three on one and they beat you down this thing gave me a boobopping man i got boobopped I swear, man, it slapped me in the face and said, oh, you don't feel me? You ain't feeling me? Well, how about now, man? And all of a sudden, man, I had the energy that I had been craving. And that thing had me going and going and going and going in a very healthy feeling way. There was nothing, no negative side effects with this. The energy hit. It took a while for it to hit after 30 minutes of ingesting it. Cause I keep, one thing I do when I do reviews is I watch. I, I take on my watch, I look at the minute I finish ingesting it cause I slam these. And then I look, I say 20 minutes I should be feeling it. 20 minutes went by, I wasn't feeling it. 25 went by, I'm like, what's going on? 30, pow. I got boobop, told me. I got boobop. The thing slapped me around. It said, it's time to stop monkeying around. Time to get down to business. Energy was good on this, man. This was a hitter right here. And I don't mean a hitter like crazy, exotic stim type of hitter. A healthy, above daily kind of hitter. I would say this would be safe to take like three days a week. If you want to take this like three days, because you know we practice restriction here, man. Even when I say something's an everyday pre-workout, to me, that means four days a week. And this was stronger than an everyday pre-workout to me. Like everyday pre-workout, I think of like beam, you know, like weak pre-workouts, which are what they're supposed to be, man. You gotta keep your tolerance low. So things like this slap you in the face, give you a little boob -op in yourself, man. So uh, this, this hit, man, and this was good. And actually the pumps were good too. If you want, you could throw a non-stim pump formula on it. The pumps were cool to me. I know how to activate them. Maybe it's that Vaso 6 mixed with, I don't know, two grams of citrulline is pretty low. So I don't know, maybe it was because I had a cheap meal yesterday. I, I can't speak really on where the pumps came from, but it wouldn't hurt you if you want to throw in. I know they got their, uh, they have a pump formula, chaos and pain. I haven't tried it yet. You could throw that on top if you're a chaos and pain guy or whatever pump formula you have. And I just thought the energy came in 
felt like something more than caffeine. I mean, maybe it's the cinephrine or the glucarol, nolatone or whatever mixed together. You know, you can't point out, but it, it, it had more of a kind of a happier focus energy than just caffeine gives me. So it definitely felt like the other uh, stims they gave us here were effective. And I just thought it was a good, a, a good productive training pre medium stim me like above daily but not like your super high stim of course this was like somewhere medium in there and it was weird how it came in but once it came in man it freaking it rocked man it was a really good product man so i'm showing this one some love really liked it if you're looking for like something above a daily pre that's still really healthy feeling that still gives you that that healthy with no negative side effects feel I think this will be right up your alley, man. Because some of you, the daily pre's don't do it for you, but you also don't want to be taking high stim hitters all the time because it's just, just too much, man. It's just, it's too much, man. A lot of you work out every time with high stim pre-workouts. I think you're tripping, man. This one is a good mid between there, uh, a compromise as we call it, a compromise. So, hey, man, Garage Gym Homies just here to give it to you straight. If you like the review, subscribe to the channel. If you didn't freaking like the review, you can also subscribe to the channel. Either way, man, I'd appreciate it. God bless all of you, man, together. Ooh, let's get this dang muscle. I'm out.